prison prison school chapter 200 um it's called the man with the golden gun um like weird enough i've just been like in a like prison school like resurgence like i've been re-watching the the anime in english dub um and i've been like rereading the entire not the entire manga but basically like where the manga or not the manga but where the anime left off um right now i'm i'm on the part with the kate and mari Ouroboros thing or one of the best best moments in prison school for sure um but yeah just like these last couple days i've just been like like fuck man like just remembering how fucking much i love this series um and like i don't know uh it's been weird i just i just miss prison school so much man so i just went back to it um but yeah uh i guess now the cavalry battle is actually starting now right so um let's see what happens because apparently the the fucking ants predicted that um the usc is gonna fall somehow so that's gonna be very interesting to see um participants to the cavalry battle please get ready everyone has their game faces on it looks like <laughs> you see if I Andre just towering over everybody in the fucking crowd. Um, he just looks like a fucking mammoth out there. Um, the chairman, darling, are you all right? Are you hurt anywhere? Uh, I'm fine. Forget me, you. I'm fine because darling protected me as well. You kept on making pain noises. Are you really feeling uh, uh, all right? It felt like my memories were coming back in a massive waterfall. Or I should say, waterfall. Uh, did you remember something? No, but there's something, a strange memory. Like, maybe you run to school or something? Um, right, we still have to treat your wounds. Let's visit the village by the mountains. No, that's dangerous. Uh, dangerous? Those kidnappers are with the government. They have political powers and are a sticky trouble. What are you talking about? Those men can't be that dangerous. You just don't know it. I know more than your am amnesic, amnesic, amnesic mind. Really? You just don't know their power. I do know. You don't. Yes, I. Oh, shit. He kissed her. I guess the wind showing that the wind is blowing it was like romantic and now <laughs> they have sex too because it looks like she's naked uh oh no she's not god damn dude that her fucking ass um you do know let's go back to the trailer house even they won't expect us to return to that place um she ran off with a man to the mountains Damn, so we're getting, like, I didn't think this was going to be, the whole kidnapping thing was going to be as big of a kind of sub arc as it looks like it's going to be. Because it looks like now these kidnappers are going back to their boss and it looks like it's going to be an even bigger problem, like a reoccurring problem, it looks like. I thought as soon as the chairman got her back, that would be the last time we heard about this stuff. So. Um, so just what are you idiots doing? Forgive us. Damn it, of all the locations, it's that mountain. Get the boys. We're going hunting. Oh, shit. And that looks like we're being introduced to a new character. Sorry I've dragged you into this mess. Everything is my fault. No, I'm the one who dragged you in. Sorry. No, it's my fault. No, the one at fault is me. <laughs> um. Hmm. Isn't this a mark someone made in the in case they get lost? Why why is she taking off her shirt? Uh no, this is a trap. Trap. Yes, this was placed to confuse our path. Perhaps the kidnappers uh placed them here. Uh the kidnappers, that doesn't make sense. This this is just a marker. No, you know nothing. It's a marker. Why are they taking off their fucking clothes? Uh, no, it's not, uh, Marker. Uh, do you understand me? If you find them, don't hesitate. 
So yeah, it looks like this whole chapter is gonna be um the thing that's happening happening with the chairman and his darling. Um if you find them, don't hesitate. Uh kill them. Damn it, to burn the house I spent hours on. What kind of monstrous people are they? Um that's actually my fault. Sorry. The fire <laughs> was my cigarettes. Um Are they are they the kidnappers? No, look. It's the fire department. Let's try talking to them. Even the police are here. They can smooth things out between us and them. No, look carefully, honey. Look at their true ident uh intention. Would there be a policeman who worked with the armed men? True. The guns. Of course they are uh they are for killing me. Darling, just who are you? I don't remember who I were, but I know that we must escape this place now. Wait, I can't find my underwear. What? Why did you take them off in the first place? Uh, did you tuck between the sheets? Already did. There might be a place we missed, so one more time. I definitely look. Look again. Uh, <laughs> and this dude saw her fucking ass in the window. Sorry, it was here. Of course, everything Darling says is true. Oh shit, he shot right through the fucking underwear. Um, yeah, right through the fucking underwear. Um, the story continues in the next chapter. All right. Yeah, very interesting that um, that this whole this whole chapter was um, dedicated to the chairman and his darling. So um. Yeah, like I said earlier, I thought this was going to be kind of like, as soon as he got her, that would probably be like the last little bit we would have heard um, of the kidnappers and stuff. And then it would just focus on him trying to get his memories back or like him just like living with this new girl. But um, now it looks like it's going a lot deeper than than I like for sure ever thought it was going to go. Um, and like... I was also thinking recently, I think I actually like this morning, um, like where, where's prison school going to go after this whole, um, what do you even call it? Like the Kate arc, right? Um, cause just like since Kate has been introduced, which was such a fucking long time ago, like so many chapters and up till now we're still dealing with Kate. So I've, I've just been wondering, like, because I, obviously I want the story to continue, but only if it makes sense. So I'm just thinking, like, where else can the story go? Like, what else can um, Akira Hiramoto do to keep the story fresh? Because, you know, we've already seen the boys in prison, and now and then we've already seen the girls and vice versa in prison. So, like, I don't know, like, it would be dumb to see Kate and Riza, um and Misuko be in prison because we've already seen that before. So I don't think it's gonna go there. Um so yeah, just like after the cavalry battle, like I really don't know where they would go. But um I guess that's the manga kid's job, right? To kind of come up with things that us the readers wouldn't even, you know, imagine the story to go next. Um but I mean obviously at some point I don't know if it's the end goal of the whole series, but obviously at some point the the wet t-shirt contest, right? That's got to be, I would imagine that's got to be its own little arc itself too. So, you know, it's not like prison school is going anywhere anytime soon. Um, Cause I still think in terms of arcs, that's going to be its own kind of thing. Um, but I don't know, it's just an interesting little discussion um, to see what they can do next after this whole Kate arc, because, I mean, in reality, we've been in it for a really long time, so I just thought it was kind of interesting, because I was really thinking about it, um, but yeah, that, <laughs> I was rambling on way too fucking long about that, um, but yeah, that's pretty much the chapter, um, a live reaction for it as well, so, um, like, comment, subscribe, um, to the channel for more prison school live reactions and other videos that i do um yeah so thanks for watching peace